Hi friends. So today we are going to have a talk on Aurora's in Anitox. So Aurora's have been a greatest and oldest mysteries in world and many of the countries have brought various theories regarding it before its actual theory could be known. In Finland, it was assumed to be a fire fox running so quickly across the snow that the tail sent sparks into the sky. Take Aristotle. He assumed it to be the sky vomiting flames. Ancient Chinese observers believed they were the flames of good and evil dragons battling in the heaven. These mysterious and unpredictable lights are called auroras, named after a Roman goddess of the dawn. So aurora is basically a natural phenomena characterized by display of natural colored lights in the sky. Aurora in North Pole is called Aurora Borealis or Northern Light. In South Pole, Aurora is called Aurora Australis or Southern Light. So now, let us know how is the Aurora formed. The protons and electrons responsible for Northern Lights are generated from the corona of Sun's atmosphere. Its temperature is about 15 million degrees Celsius. The intensive heat causes the helium and hydrogen atoms to vibrate, shaking up the protons and electrons. These protons and electrons move too fast and group together as plasma and form an electrically charged gas known as solar wind, which travels towards the Earth. It takes around 40 hours to reach Earth. The distance the solar wind has to travel to reach Earth is around 93 million miles. But our Earth too shields this solar wind. This is through the magnetosphere. The magnetosphere of the Earth shield the solar wind by setting up a detour. During coronal mass ejection, it releases a huge plasma towards the Earth, hence a tiny bit escapes the magnetic field and rides up and down the Earth's atmosphere. The electrons and protons meet up with oxygen and nitrogen, giving it some energy. Hence, some of the particles in it, in it get excited in the form of photons. They produce a mix of red, blue, a green light. When and where can we see this aurora? So they are generally seen in the auroral regions of North and South Pole, best in Alaska, Northern Canada, Norway, Sweden and Finland. The most suitable time to see this are during the night, not in day because of the auroras being dimmer during the day. Northern lights are always present, but winter is usually the best time to see them due to the lower level of air pollution and clear air. September, October, March and April are some of the best months to see the auroras. So this is all for today. Please like, share, subscribe for more videos.